Ciao amici and welcome. I'm Chef Leo Spazzeri and today I'm on location at Pizza University just outside of Baltimore, Maryland. And today what I'd like to do is share with you my tip on making the perfect pizza sauce. We're going to be using an Italian pizza sauce today. This is whole peeled tomatoes. This is not a prepared sauce that's already been ground. So on this one you're going to have to do some work and now I'm going to show you how easy it is to do this. These whole peeled tomatoes uh, come from the southern portion of Italy in the region of Campania. These actually come from Napoli and these are uh, a very nice whole peeled tomato, different than the tomato that you would see maybe throughout northern Italy. Um, we talk about the, the soil, the volcanic soil that's uh, surrounding the area of Campania and in that area that soil gives this uh, tomato, it's uh, a little bit of acidity, yet it's still very sweet. It's a very nice uh, balance between those two. And if you're making a traditional Neapolitan pizza or any of the varieties of pizza outside of that world, this is a great choice of tomato for you to use. I'm gonna have these whole peeled tomatoes just like this. And I'm gonna show you a trick. When I open my tomatoes, I left a little portion of this that I didn't cut all the way through. I started at one side, I went all the way around just to the point where, um, where it meets. And this way I've got this little lip which is gonna help you. If you've ever opened a can of tomatoes and you've dumped it into a bowl, you probably at some point have gotten splashes of tomato sauce all over yourself. So this is a great tip. What I'm doing is I got this here. I'm gonna take the can by the, the bottom. I'm gonna hold this from the top on the flap and then I'm just gonna very gently pour this inside and very controlled, the tomatoes are all inside of the bowl. What's great is that now, once this is done, I don't have this sharp hand lid and I don't have this sharp edge to hurt anybody. I can simply just fold this back inside and this goes into the trash or recycling, whatever you're gonna do with it. This also will make a really nice table decoration for all you old school Italian restaurants that still use these to serve your pizzas on top of. Beautiful Italian tomato written in Italian. That's pretty cool to have on your table. Now, the next thing that I'm gonna do, I've got sea salt. We're gonna use fine sea salt in this. I like to use fine sea salt because it's fine, it likes to dissolve very easily. I say that sea salt comes from the sea, it came from water and it likes to go back into water very easily. So what I'm gonna do is, I've got for a number 10 can, this is a number 10 can of tomatoes, and then uh, I'm gonna use one ounce of sea salt. I would prefer to use Italian sea salt, wherever it comes from, that's really good, but uh, my preference is uh, always to use a traditional product that we can find. In this case, we're using Italian tomatoes, uh, Italian sea salt. Now, to this, I've got it all in the bowl, everything's all ready to go. If I was making the traditional classic Neapolitan sauce, this would be all I need to make this. There's other varieties of tomato sauce or pizza sauce that are used throughout Italy. You can easily, to this sauce, add maybe a clove of fresh garlic chopped up, maybe about a quarter cup of olive oil and three or four fresh basil leaves. Those would also make a very, very nice sauce. To me, I come from that school of thought where we say, Everything I'm gonna to add to the pizza is gonna go on top of the pizza. So if I don't wanna put basil on top of my pizza, why would I put basil in my sauce? And that's the reason why I'm just using tomatoes and the sea salt right now. For example, if I was to make it, I'm gonna start smashing these tomatoes. We're gonna to use my hand and I'm gonna talk through this, all right? So with my hand, I'm actually able to take these tomatoes and you can see, I am just pulled the, the first one that was here off. The tomatoes are inside of this beautiful puree. This puree actually comes from the same tomatoes that are in the can. A lot of times we find cheaper varieties of tomatoes that use, a, let's say, Italian tomatoes, but the puree comes from somewhere else. And that's why you start to see different colors. So I'm using this beautiful Italian tomato. The same exact puree is uh, packed inside of this can. And you can see the tomato is whole. It's actually so juicy, it's so ripe, it's dripping right now, right? On the inside of this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in here and I'm gonna, I'm gonna open this up. And you can see that inside of this tomato, we have very few seeds. There's very few of those stringy bits on the inside. 
And this is the reason why I love to use these. This is very, very reminiscent of any of the tomatoes that come from Campania. Very high quality, very sought after. And that's why we go ahead and we search for these types of ingredients. What I'm gonna do, the idea is that when I stick my hand inside over here, my hand is gonna grab the tomato and it's gonna squeeze, right? And as I'm squeezing, this tomato pulp comes through my fingers. Right? This is very important because if you were to use any other method, like I would never take my tomatoes and stick them inside a blender or use maybe one of those stick immersion blenders to blend this because what we're doing is we start incorporating air into our sauce. And as we do that, we go from this really beautiful bright red color to something that turns a little bit orange and it kind of looks weird on top of a pizza. So I don't, I don't re recommend that method. I would rather take this, smash it by hand, and then I can feel what the pulp is like. If you really want to control the pulp, you can actually get yourself something called a food mill. The food mill has different discs in the bottom. It's got a crank on the top, and that puree and that pulp of the tomato will all come through. And then what will happen is, depending on the size of the screen that's in there, any of the seeds and skins or anything else that might be inside will stay on the top. Everything else will fall through. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to keep my hand below the line of the sauce. Where the sauce puree is, I'm going to have my hand below. You could see where it was on my fingers. If I do that, if you do this, you'll keep the tomato juice from splashing all over your beautiful white chef coat or your apron or whatever else. Maybe it's your beautiful kitchen at home. And I'm going to do this now. And you notice that I just dumped the salt inside because as I'm smashing these tomatoes with my hands, the process of me doing this is also mixing the salt in as well. Now, this process might take a, an extra minute or two to do it this way, but this is one of those things that I tell my clients when I do consulting work or you know any of the people that I work with and teach, I tell them that what's going to differentiate you or what's going to set you apart from your competitors or the guy next door? One simple process like this where you're actually grinding or chopping or smashing, whatever you want to call this process by hand, your tomato sauce is not going to look the same as everybody else's. And when people eat your pizza or whatever you use this sauce on, it's going to set you apart from everyone else. And as I continue doing this, I can feel that between my fingers, I do feel once in a while that you do get maybe a, a, a skin, like I could feel a skin once in a while that pops out, um, or maybe like one of these uh, yellow bits. Occasionally the tomato has uh, the, the part that's closest to the stem that's not all the way ripened and uh, that sometimes is a little harder. I can feel this in my fingers. If you were to stick this all inside of a blender or a food processor or use a, an immersion blender, this would all get ground in as well. So as I'm doing this, I can feel little stringy bits like this that I don't want on top of my pizza and I can discard them. That's another really great method or great reason of using the method like this. Now, I'm almost done over here. I can feel that almost all of my tomatoes are now uh, all, um, all smashed up and I'm just going to go around the bowl and I'm kind of checking my work just to make sure that there's nothing that's too large. Any of these big chunks of pulp that are in here are too large. I know that also if you're looking at these uh, Chow brand tomatoes, they also have what's called the uh, authentic line which is already ground for you and uh, it is a really nice pulp that's in there. It's not very fine. Um, it's not something that uh, again is going to uh, look as, uh, as maybe rough or artisan is having all these chunks, but it's more consistent. And I've used that tomato sauce for New York pizzas or Sicilian or grandma pan pizzas, any of those different types as well. So it's very versatile, even though we're not talking about traditional uh, Italian pizzas, um, you know, maybe varieties that come from the United States, that's still an awesome op option because those tomatoes, they come from Italy and they're grown in that same uh, volcanic soil, just like these whole peel tomatoes are. This is one of the reasons that when I make a pizza, people ask me all the time, like, wow, what's your secret? How can I do this myself? Your pizzas taste so much different than mine. It's really not uh, anything magical. It's really just the quality ingredients that I use. And that's something that can be available to you as well. Um, this tomato sauce now is looking very good. And uh, if you want to come and, uh, and check this out, I'm going to be able to uh, kind of give you a little, little peek here. 
some of this off my hand. My tomato sauce is so beautiful, so bright, so red. And this is, at the end of the day, exactly what we're doing. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to us at pizzauniversity.org or you can check us out across social media. My name is Chef Leo Spazzeri. You can also find me across social media by searching for me at Ask Chef Leo. And I hope that we see you in class very soon. Ciao, everybody.